This is a quick video on how I service injectors on the rail um, and on Nissan Selfie. So what I'm going to do here is raise up the fuel box. I'm going to look for the 15 amp fuse, which is the fuse for the fuel pump. So you got to disable the fuse. Or if you want, you can raise up the back seat and just disconnect the fuel pump. But I'd rather just take it from here, right? So you just pull this fuse out with a Burby pliers, right? And you just sit right there. And then I'm, what I'm going to do next is find the fuel line that go into the rail. And you got to use a special tool um, to just get the connector off, right? After you move this, this rubber cap off right so you just get it under there i normally put a piece of rag there so no fuel will fall and you just basically just pull it back and it comes off you just rest it to the side and i'll hook up then i'll be hooking up my connector to the to the um, fuel line right and pressure it up right so let me just try to do that first. right so what i'm gonna do next is hook up my injector machine to the fuel rail right and i'm gonna fill it up with this liquid molly injector clean concentrated solution also, I'm gonna hook up my, I'm gonna connect my air supply to this unit, right? And I'm gonna set my pressure, open my, my valve to make the cleaner go into the rail, and then I'm gonna start the vehicle, right? So just give me a minute, let me just set it up real quick. I mean, it's a little boring, but this is what exactly we do to clean the injector. Oh, this is one way that I choose to clean the injector on the rail. Right, so since I got my air supply hooked up, right, I'm going to set my regulator to 43 PSI or 3 bars, and I'm going to open my um, control valve here so I can let the cleaner in, right? And then I'm going to just go and start the car. So let's let me see right here quick, and as I said, I'm just going to go around and start the vehicle up, right? Um, check for any leaks, make sure I have nothing before you start the vehicle because it's close to the battery, right? So once that's good, I'm good. Hi, right, so sorry about the noise in the background. That's the guys doing the thing. So we're gonna start this vehicle up and let it idle for a little bit, right? Um, normally you can use a timer and time how long you let this um, let the vehicle idle for. But um, this, as I said, this is a concentrated um, solution, so is is more potent than the one that you have that you put in the tank, right? So this helps clean and decarbonize all the carbon buildup that's beyond the injectors right so let's leave it sit for a little bit so while the vehicle is idling right um, if you see the pressure drop a little bit what you can do is open the the regulator a little bit if you want you could go up to 45 psi or you can just um, adjust the flow so you don't waste out all your chemicals because remember now the shop air is pushing um, pressure into this canister and then it's going into the rail so if you leave it open too much it will basically run your chemical out real quick you know i made a mistake like that before so as i said let's let it run for like a good 5 15 5 to 15 minutes and then um you can rev the vehicle up right and let, let the chemical go through a little faster and then that should be it you know you, you connect everything back up and you don't gotta sit and watch it you just leave it alone uh, make sure you do it in a well ventilated area right because as i said sometimes that um it has this gas that that leaves the vehicle if you do in a closed environment you can end up you know have somebody pass out so make sure wherever you're doing this is a well ventilated area or what they do they have these little um pipes that they use to hook up that goes to the external part of the building you can hook that up also on the exhaust right but i don't have that in the shop so basically i did basically i'm just letting it vent right now right um this is just this procedure is to make sure that the injectors um stay clean as best as much as they can right um i did what i did also was I clean the mass airflow and the throttle body and you know basically you just helping decarbonize this engine and when you finish you just lock off the valve and you just hear the car stop and you just disconnect everything else. So on top this cap has a release valve, you just make sure and press that to release the pressure that's trapped within the, the, the system right and you just take everything off as I said and you just make sure you connect everything back up. So I had to use a special tool again to take off the line. I put a little rag here to catch it. Whatever residue is um, trapped in the line, you put back on the original um, fitting for the vehicle and make sure and put back on the 
clean up after your mess. I make sure that the this cap goes back on properly. It has some arrows on on it showing the direction. So as I said, just make sure you put things back how you got it. That's all. Right? And um, when you finish now, make sure you're gonna I'm gonna put the fuse back in. Right? And when I put the fuse back in for the fuel pump, you're just gonna put the key on for a little bit, prime the rear back up, and then you start the vehicle. So that's all it to it, right? Um I know the customer is going to be happy, right? You don't have to do this all the time, right? You just do it like, let you say, every six to eight months, you know, you just pull in, and this will be part of the service where we clean these parts, the mass airflow, your air filter, you know, and make sure you put the, we're going to put the vehicle back together as how it came, right? And we're going to start the vehicle up, and that's it, you know, and you're good to go to, until next time so as i said the links in the description for the tools that i use make sure and hit that up thanks for watching hope you like what you saw like subscribe share comment until next time take it easy